What's up guys, this is your boy Kilimanjaro and well, the school season is here, everybody's at school, well yeah you know, but I'm just here on my lunch break like, just showing you my park, I don't have much to upload and I don't think I'll be like doing any Minecraft videos until, I mean, or not videos until, well, maybe like in December I'll start making them again, but but it'll be a while because I mean like kind of got bored with everything and eventually when I saw this game was for free on the Epic Games launcher I immediately downloaded it and now I'm pretty hooked to this but well but anyway well well I started like making creation recreations of like of rides first but but eventually, like, some ideas came up in my mind. Well, this one, this coaster right here, uh, where I'm pointing at, is based off the second one, Racer in Long Beach. Or, at least, what well, used to be in Long Beach. Well, it got replaced by this stupid aquarium of the Pacific. But, I mean, like, who gives a damn about the aquarium? Well, yeah, it's pretty much supposed to be like a, well, if Mad Mountain was built differently. Yeah, yeah. I made this park like as a lake park called Lake Wilshire, but eventually I just destroyed it because well, I didn't really like it. So I created it into a mountain and gardens park. Basically, the gardens used to be like right here. It used to be at the spot of the former lake that I made, but I was like, screw it. Then eventually, I just turned it into like a muddy garden with mangrove trees. But eventually, I slowly started filling it up with water. Then boom, that's how I well, created this lake. And this lake is supposed to be like a backdrop for, well, this thing over in the distance. Cyclone Racer. Yeah, then we got the main mountain itself. But here, we're not really going to do some playing stuff. Actually, in fact, mostly playing stuff, but we're going to talk about G-forces on roll coasters. Or specifically in my creation since I'm planning to become an engineer, but anyway. This ride over here. Yeah, just your regular old suspended aero coaster, but however, if we like you see. Basically, G forces. This ride basically has kind of high G forces, but doesn't really reach up to five. Yeah, this ride is called XLR8. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, in this area, Kill's Corner, that's based off of me, my former deer persona, which is now going to be a dragon persona. But anyway, here we got Shockwave. This actually has been in my mind for a long time. It's mostly based off of, like, the Batman and Escape Ride that was, that was built, like, in the 1990s. But it was for Six Flags Magic Mountain first, well, it was in the Rod Rotation Program, well, its first area, or its first home was in Six Flags Magic Mountain where it operated as Shockwave, then eventually moved to Six Flags Great Adventure where it operated as, well, Shockwave, but eventually made its home in Astroworld and stayed there until the very end of the park. It was eventually going to be moved to Darien Lake, but eventually like Six Flags was like damn it we don't have enough money so they got well they got rid of the park and never built it but when they retained like I think like a year or the year they got the park back well it was scrapped like around like the mid 2018 months so yeah that's the demise of this attraction but it's sort of a recursion but it has some more elements and Something just fell off. But it's it's not that bad though anyway. And here we got an area not really based off the pike, but I wanted to call it the pike. Might change it later to Cyclone Bay. And basically we got this flat ride that was not in the original pike. This is supposed to be based off of like the ride in Cedar Point. Even though I don't have enough room here to build a Coliseum because it's cute for my shockwave. Yeah. 
They're basically there just spinning. You're like, oh my damn god. asking how much G's does it have? Good question. It has around actually not that many G's. Okay, to put it simply, it only its max G's go up to about around like I think 1.4 G's. No, no, that's my probably like 1.2 G's because it's supposed to be gigos. Okay, then we got well, this metro. Now it's more of a tram. Well, right. Basically, you just like go up the mountain and go like across. so many people like going on the metro because they just want to get to well other areas as soon as possible without walking like all these other people are doing. But, the, but they do realize that they can well, yeah you see these few guys have, can use the metro okay well Okay, basically this right over here usually goes about like around three to four G's, which is pretty intense. And that will wrap it up because I gotta use the restroom. So see you guys soon.